In directed activity six, we'll take a look at using the exit function to optimize conditional calculations. Some analytics are expensive to run no matter what the optimizations made to them. However, these analytics might provide valuable enough data to justify their analytics cost. When it comes to these analytics, our best approach is to make sure they only run when truly necessary. This has been possible for a while now with the no output function and using it in combination with if then else logic. But in a recent version of asset analytics, the exit function was added. The exit function provides a much cleaner way to implement analytics that need to trigger on certain conditions but not always execute by stopping processing the analytic and exiting. In addition to looking cleaner, it saves a few processing cycles on analytics by not requiring checking if else logic throughout the analytic. Although less necessary from a performance perspective, the exit function is also useful to build analytics that execute on a slower schedule than the daily option provided by the analytics scheduler. For example, an analytic could be scheduled to only run on a certain day of the week and exit otherwise for something like a weekly total. To show an example of using the exit function to optimize an analytic, we'll take a look at the high wind speed calculations analytic on our turbine template. Note that this analytic is intended to calculate certain things if, if the uh, wind speed is higher than a certain amount. For example, if equipment damage is possible and what percentage of the time the wind speed is above a certain value. But notice that this analytic executes event triggered on any input, so adjusted wind speed. And even if the wind speed is greater than 20, it still does these relatively expensive calculations. We'll improve this with if then else logic and the exit function. Next, we'll add if then else logic to the wind speed high variable such that it exits if the wind speed is less than 20. Note that if the wind speed is greater than 20, this statement will return true just like before. Once you've made that modification, preview results. And notice that if the wind speed is less than 20, wind speed high displays a dash, as does the equipment damage possible and high wind speed percentage variables, indicating that the function is executing and not calculating further. We can also change the high wind percentage line to only execute if it has been more than this by adding the has changed function to the calculation. I'm just going to paste this in here and it's in the user manual if you want to just copy it yourself. But we're using if has changed and looking at the output variable high wind speed calculation, high wind speed percentage over the last minute, then we exit if it has changed else we go ahead and do the conversion and the calculation to determine the percentage of time that the wind speed is high. Next, check in your changes, and then we'll be ready to move on to the conclusion.